Welcome back to the round table. I'm Ostrich Vox, and after the uh, interesting gumball finale, you guys on the internet may be hearing a lot of talk of a gumball movie. Yet, yeah, if you're new to the party, there may not be much actual context to this movie. What is it? Is it a real thing? What would it even be about? Well, these are the questions I'm going to answer for all of you today. Going through the history of this gumball movie and going through what the plot of the movie would be. With all that said, let's dive in. Last year saw the gumball creator Ben Boquelet put out the possibility of a movie into the wild, stating, I think I have a good idea for a gumball movie. Would you guys watch a gumball movie? Which was obviously met with a resounding yes. He also followed up in the same thread, specifying to a fan that he has an idea for both a direct-to-DVD TV movie and a theatrical release movie. Although realistically, it would be the former, due to theatrical films based on television shows in the past, not performing all too well. Fast forward to after the finale, The Inquisition, it looks like a TV movie is the only way we can get a true satisfying conclusion to the show. With the creator once again speaking out, I know, it's daunting. Please stop coming after me. It was not my choice to land the last episode that way. But know that if we do do the movie, everything lands in a pretty cool way. Well, now you really got me on board for a movie. I want to see how everything lands. I mean, after all, Rob is just falling. But again, what exactly would this movie be about? Is it just picking up from the cliffhanger of the finale? Would it tell an entirely new story? And could it fill up 60, 70, 80, 90 minutes? Well, it looks like this entire time, the final season was building up to this hypothetical movie, with three episodes in particular, the vegging, the future, and the Inquisition. The tie-in to these three episodes aren't just the ominous cliffhangers they all share, but a location, the Void. In the amazing world of Gumball, the Void is a secret dimension where characters and objects from Elmore are erased due to being mistakes. First appearing in its titular episode, titled, you guessed it, The Void. A common character associated with The Void is Gumball's nemesis, Rob, who became the show's overarching antagonist for a while, but more on Rob later. In the 200th episode of the series, The Vegging, Gumball and Darwin attempt to have a lazy day, but are frequently disrupted by many natural and unnatural disasters, including the void. It gets really, really weird. Ultimately, they end up having to save their family, and by the end of this adventure, they're back on the couch, being lazy. But suddenly, a bright light appears in front of them. In ominous writing on the wall reads, this is a message from the future. The strange things that happened today were for a reason, and it was all the work of. Alas, Gumball and Darwin are completely uninterested. So the writing finishes with, er, forget it. Now, is it possible that this was really the work of Rob? Considering these next two episodes, it's looking very likely. Cut to the episode, The Future, Rob actually returns and kidnaps Banana Joe's psychic mind mother, Banana Barbara, so she can paint the future. Her paintings first end up being seemingly random static images that are really the void. But by the episode's end, we have two more ominous paintings. Rob falling into the void and the Watterson family holding onto each other watching in horror as Elmore falls apart, falling into the void itself. Rob does inform Gumball that finding out the fate of the future goes beyond their rivalry, hinting that something much bigger is at play. And Banana Barbara at the end of the episode remarks, but there is no future. Which I'm sure caused the audience to do a collective double take and go, no future? What you talking about, Barbara? There has to be a future. It's a cartoon. All cartoons last forever and will never die and leave me. This takes us to the series finale, The Inquisition, where Rob returns under the disguise of Superintendent Evel, a live-action human who aims to remove all cartoonish behavior from Elmore Jr. High, slowly converting all of Gumball's classmates into live-action human beings themselves. By the episode's end, Rob explains he was trying to save everyone, but they wouldn't listen, and after being knocked out, Rob wakes up in the middle of the night, remarking they should have listened to him. However, it's too late, as shortly after Rob comes to, so does the Void, causing Causing the entire school to collapse, Rob falling in place exactly as the painting portrayed him to be. And that is destiny fulfilled. Now everything from here is unwritten, now we just have to wait for the movie. Which we can assume from here would serve as the actual finale for the series, where we see that painting of Gumball and his family in the void. Gumball would likely have to team up with Rob to save the day. Not
not just from the void, but what from the void means. Cancellation. And if Rob's plan in the finale is any indication, live action remakes. Rob does remark, transformation is the only chance they have to escape the other place once this world, but then he's interrupted by the void ending the episode. Transformation could be remaking Elmore and his citizens in a brand new image, a live action image. The other place in itself could be a live action world. Gumball and company blending in as if they're normal people, but eventually escaping back into cartoonish form. This entire journey could be the premise of the film. Now you may be thinking, all right, I'm sold. When is this movie coming out? And well, we don't know. For all we know, this movie may not even exist yet, which is certainly what's being hinted by Ben Poquela. And to get the movie, let your voices be heard. There's petitions out there to sign, which I know don't traditionally work, but it will show that there's interest, and with interest comes the potential big bucks. Sound off to Cartoon Network on social media. Use Twitter, Instagram. Let them know exactly what you want, unless the movie's already greenlit, in which case, the creator can't say it is because he'd be violating NDA. What would you guys want to see in a gumball movie? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can follow me at Vox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Rental grow by either becoming a member of the channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, signing out.